Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. That promise to Abraham did not just make the promise come to pass. There was... Mind you, what we are talking about here is a covenant, and a covenant has two sides. A covenant has responsibilities on all the sides. And so God is making a commitment by way of promise to Abraham, saying, I'm going to make you a father of many nations. But you see, when God made the promise, he had to believe God. Do you realize that you will have a faith challenge if you don't know the God that you are asked to believe? Oh my, you are not here. Oh, okay, okay. I think I would have done a refresher course on faith before we come to this scripture. Because for many of us, you, you are not aware of the fact that embedded in faith, one of the things that will make you take the risk of faith. Because if you are going to operate by faith, you are going to go beyond your senses. You are going to go beyond your comfort zone, beyond the things you are used to, and you are going to wander into trust. Hallelujah. In order for you to take that risk, you must have some form of knowledge of the God that you are trusting. Part of the reasons why a lot of people's faith life is deflated is because we do not have a personal knowledge of God. So we are saying that there was an arrangement that was packaged for Abraham. And Abraham will have to appropriate the things that God has promised him by exercising his faith. But the problem here is you cannot exercise faith if you don't have knowledge. You must have some form of knowledge and that is going to be the reason why you are ready to take the risk of faith. And the knowledge we are talking about is not academic knowledge. It's not the knowledge you take in on the soil of your soul. It's not the knowledge of mnemonics and memory. It's a knowledge that is handed out to you by the Spirit of God in your heart. See, in that knowledge that you have received, the faith that is derived from that knowledge has an insurance policy. That's what it's saying here. It's no longer a risk. Because it is the convictions that are furnished by the Holy Ghost is rooted upon your heart. And that adventure becomes an adventure that is not a risk. Because there is an insurance of substance that is part of the equation. Are you with me? So in order for it to be possible for Abraham to exercise his faith, one of the things he needed was the knowledge of the God he was coming to trust. So, God had to introduce himself to Abraham in a special way. Are you there? Have you encountered God before? You see, because God had to reveal himself to Abraham, God did not just reveal himself by an introduction. He revealed himself to Abraham by a manifestation. Now, let me show you the manifestation so that we can begin our Bible study. We'll begin with Bible study, and as you be, we begin to glide, then we'll, we'll, the escape velocity will take us, we'll be trapped with the Holy Ghost somewhere. But let me do the groundwork first, so that we can take a flight. If you are still here, say, Amen. Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now.